there and just got back from Toronto. Dude, that was the coolest trip. I went up to Toronto to do a couple episodes of Call for Help. It was a 10 hour drive. Oh. 700 miles, 1126 kilometers for the rest of the world. I would have been bored out of my mind. Well, I thought I was going to be, but I brought my favorite site on the internet with me. My iPod saved my life, and so did Wait. Matt from Winona University, hooked me up with a program that allowed me to time shift Pandora. Whoa. Okay, let everybody know what Pandora is, because it's okay. like the coolest thing. <laughs> Pandora is a site where you can go listen to music as a radio station, but here's the coolest part about it. You can customize this radio station specifically for you. Uh, Pandora has a group of people who strictly listen to songs to tag them for certain you know, vocal harmonics, Musical mellow, mellow guitarist. Um, well, if you, if you like a band or you like a song by a band, you can type in the name of the song or the band itself if you like their whole stuff. And it will search out through all the music library and grab all the little tags that match and show you stuff that you might like or you may not like. If you, if you like what they play, then you can give it a thumbs down and they won't play anything like that anymore. But if you give it a thumbs up, they'll play more stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, it's great at learning. I gave it, uh, let's see, The Shins oh. and... Uh, the Killers, and it suggested a uh, Mogan Heap, which led me to Fisher Spooner, mm -hmm. and then you hooked me up with Gem, Gem. and <laughs> I think it's a great service. I actually pay the $3 a month for the account so I don't get the ads on the screen, mm. and it's really an amazing service. I love it. I can't live without it. I first heard about it on Inside the Net, and I've been using it ever since. When you told me about it, I, I went to it, and within an hour, I was in love. I listen to it when I'm photoshopping now. I'm addicted. Yeah, well, I listen to it at work, but now I can listen to it in the car because I'm time-shifting it. Okay, so... Isn't that kind of not... Uh, against their terms of service? Yeah. Well, here's what I figure. Yes, it is against their terms of service, I guess, right? But what I'm doing is I'm paying Pandora the $3 a month, okay? I'm time shifting those songs so that I can listen to them in the car. Okay. And then if I like what I hear, I'll go and buy the artist. You know, I'll hit up the iTunes music store and... You know, so I'm supporting the artist, I'm supporting Pandora, and if I don't like the tracks, I'm just going to delete it. So I'm, I don't feel like I'm... So it's not like you're, you're selling it, it's for just you. Yeah, it's you. just kind of personal it's use. It's just kind of a personal use, mm -hmm. strictly for you. But yeah, it is against their terms of service, so don't sue us. Mm -hmm. It was Matt from Winona University. He started yeah. the program. Sue him. His fault, not his. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at it. So basically, when you run Pandora, I'm going to go ahead and play a song here, and turn this down just a bit. What it's doing is it will... Um, save this file in a temp folder. So here we can see it's access to, and if you rename that to .mp3, that'll work. That's an mp3 file. But it doesn't have an id3 tag, and it doesn't have a file name. So, so it'll just show up as like track one, yeah, something it's, like it's that. Not gonna a random be, name. Yeah, it's not going to be very iPod friendly at all. So what we've got here is this, um, this Java applet, and I'm going to go ahead and run Pandora. Uh, that's the bat file to start it, and then period for this directory. And what that's going to do is use this program to scrape the artist name and the title of the track from the title bar in, um, in Firefox and create the ID3 tags and the file name for it. So it's copying access one. And if I head over here to my Pandora folder, you can see there's my MP3 file. If I open that up, there it is in a uh, WAMP, and it's got the correct ID3 tag, and it's playing, and it's exactly what I want, and I can leave. Uh, this Java program running all night, and then in the morning, sync it up to my iPod, throw it in a playlist, listen to it on the way home from so work. So you're good for a 10-hour drive? I'm good for a 10-hour drive, mm -hmm. I, and I'm writing down stuff that I like, so that when I get home, I can download it oh, on iTunes. Oh, I keep a notebook by my computer for the same reason. So I suggest everybody head over to our website, check it out, and thank you, Matthew, from Winona University for the awesome hookup. Thanks, Matt.